I don't know if you guys are familiar with the blog The Broke and the Bookish, but if you're not, you should be because it's awesome. But basically, Jamie does this thing every Tuesday called Top 10 Tuesday, where each Tuesday there is a bookish topic and people will talk through their top 10 answers for that topic. I've never participated before, mostly because I'm lazy, but I always read them and I always find them really interesting. And for a while I've been thinking that Top 10 Tuesday would actually make a great vlog. Um, and though I don't think I'll do it every week, I do want to start doing it when the topic really catches my attention, which it definitely did this week. So I present to you Top 10 Tuesday, Top 10 Most Frustrating Characters. Number 10, Bianca from The Duff. You may recall my review of this and how much I absolutely loved this book, so you might be a little surprised. But Bianca is a good frustrating character. She grows a lot through the book, but in the beginning I really did not like her. But it was in a really interesting way. Normally when I don't like a character it's because I think that they're flat or boring or just inauthentic feeling or something like that, but Bianca actually felt too real to me. She was that bitter high school girl that we all can be sometimes, and um, it was uncomfortable. She grows though, so it's a good frustration, but yeah, she earned a spot. Number nine is pretty much all of the characters from The Carrier of the Mark. And this is one of those cases of not liking the characters because I do think that they're flat and inauthentic feeling. They don't feel real to me and they don't, their interactions really don't feel real to me. I saw potential which is probably part of what made it so frustrating but not a single character in this book worked for me. Number eight, Holden Caulfield from Catcher in the Rye. This may have suffered from too much build-up, too many people loving this. Um, I read it just out of high school, and so many people that I knew in high school listed it as one of their favorite books, and so I had high expectations, and instead what I found was a really whiny, obnoxious, bratty main character, and sheer disappointment as a result. Number seven is a little bit of a tie, and I don't have either book to show you, but Lena from Delirium by Lauren Oliver, and Cassie from Ice by Sarah Beth Durst, and they tie because it's for the same reason. They started out strong, interesting characters, and then they swiftly went downhill into ridiculous stock characters whose motivations I didn't believe, who had things happen way too quickly, and they stopped thinking. In the beginning, they were thinkers, and they were strong, and they were interesting, and that quickly went away, and that was really disappointing, especially because I saw a lot of potential in both of them, and they're what could have carried those stories. Number six is Anne Spundren from As I Lay Dying. I was talking about him recently. I feel like I've been talking about this book a lot lately. Anse was the first person to ever really frustrate me in a book, and my god did he frustrate me. Like, thinking about him, I think, makes my blood pressure rise. Man, he is frustrating. Um, everything about him. Every single thing. From the way he talks, to the way he thinks, to the way he acts and treats people. Um, he just doesn't have a redeeming quality, and I just really want him to get his, you know? And it doesn't necessarily happen. Number five is Luce, and probably most of the characters from Fallen. It suffered for, from some stockness and some just ridiculousness in the characters, um, and it, it could have been much more than it was. It could have been fleshed out. I could have liked Luce, but she just kept making these choices and getting so caught up in love triangliness and being that very stereotypical dumb white love triangle girl. She's kind of bland and falls for a lot of crap and she had potential but she sort of embodies all of those things that you don't like about a YA main character and that's unfortunate. Number four is Adelise from Cruel. She had a lot of potential too. But there are two things that really bothered me about her. One, her potential is all for nothing essentially because she's more concerned about her love triangle than she is with trying to fix this really effed up world that she lives in. Her power just seems like a token, you know? She's gotta be the most special because she's the main character. But even more frustrating to me is that she does not match her world. She's like if you took a character from our world, our current modern times, and plopped it into this very repressive, um, very different society. She doesn't necessarily think or talk or act like them. I really wanted to like Adelise, and I think with more growth I really could, but for now she ended up being really disappointing, as did the book. 
Number three is another tie. It's two characters from the same book. It's Fanny Price and Mrs. Norris from Mansfield Park. I think anyone who's ever read Jane Austen pretty much universally agrees that Fanny Price is the most frustrating character <laughs> possibly written in any classic, but definitely in Jane Austen. She's such a doormat, and I get having a really good character in someone who is constantly having to prove herself and how that would affect her. Certainly that's going to have a big effect, but the few times that she finally steps out and starts to grow and it gets really exciting, she immediately falls back into the same crap. Lets people walk all over her and never stands up for herself and never just realizes what she's really worth. Mrs. Norris makes the list because my god she is an awful woman. Very much like Anne Spundren, I just kind of want to shake her. Number two is V from Hush Hush. V started out a really good sidekick best friend. She's funny, she's lively, um, yeah, she's pretty much the typical sidekick. Somewhere along the way she turned into this really awful friend who sort of lures Nora into really bad situations. Um, if your best friend thinks that she's being stalked or thinks that someone is a murderer or even just has a really oogie feeling about someone, you go with that. You let them have their instincts, you certainly don't force them to be in scenarios with this person that creeps them out, because that would make you a really shitty person. And V does this consistently. She nosedived. She started really strong and then she just tanked. And she went from being a fun, lively character to a cardboard character whose sole purpose was to lure Nora into really awful situations fail. Which brings me to number one, the most frustrating character that I can think of, Nora from Hush Hush. She is that girl in horror movies that you're yelling at on screen, the one that runs up the stairs instead of out the door, the one that keeps making the really stupid decisions, the one that has to kick the villain when they're down just to make sure they're dead rather than just getting the hell away already. Nora is surrounded by people that seem to want to hurt her, which is a completely different point of way too many villains in a book. But she's so wishy-washy about it. So she will think that Patch, the main male lead, is creepy and dangerous and maybe wanting to hurt her, maybe even kill her, and within a couple pages she'll think he could never hurt me, and she'll be swoony and sighy and all lust ridden, and it's like, what the hell is wrong with you, girl? So that is probably the single most frustrating character that I've ever had to be in their schizophrenic head. So those are my top 10 most frustrating characters. You can let me know in the comments what some of your most frustrating characters are, or you can make a video response. And of course, if you make a vlog or blog post, make sure to link it up at Top 10 Tuesday on The Broke and The Bookish. Until next time, that's all for me. Happy reading. Making out with two brothers than she is. That was a spoiler. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>